So I'm working through the API challenges for apichallenges.herokuapp.com. And the next challenge we have to do is the post to do's ID. And what this means is we're going to issue a post request that will successfully update a to do item. All the to do's are on the slash to do's endpoint. And the slash curly brackets ID means put in an actual ID value so that we can edit the particular to do that that refers to. So what I want to do initially is make sure I know which to do's I have so that I can edit one. And I do that by issuing a get request on this slash to do's endpoint. Then I'll see a list of to do's. I'm going to pick to do item number 49. So just to double check that this works, I'm going to get to do item 49 first. Now as a quick tip, if I don't know what format to send, I will issue a get request. Then some of the information here will be what is required in order to issue a post. Now I know that I do not have to issue a post request that has a to-dos array. All I need are the details for the individual to-do itself. So I'm going to copy that. In fact, what I'm going to do to make this easy for myself is I'm going to duplicate this get request and it will be to-dos ID and I'll put update here because what I'm going to do is change the verb to a post. Now that will issue a post on that particular endpoint. I need to make sure that the header has the uh, challenge ID that I'm working with, which it does. And I want to add a body into this request. So I'm going to send in the JSON body. I just copy and pasted that from the actual request that was there. Now this is a partial update. So I don't want to pass in everything. So I'm going to get rid of the ID because I can't really update the ID that would probably throw an error. And I'll get rid of the done status and description. I could add those in but I'm just going to add in a single one to make this correct. And I will say updated title, then make sure that the header has the content type that says application JSON. So the server knows I'm sending in JSON x challenger should be good to go. Let me send that. And we got 200 requests back. And we can see what the current details of this to do item are. Now, if I really want to double check, I could go back to the get and issue this get request for that item. And it should have the information that we added. But the response from the post should be good enough to convince us. Now, I could pass in the done status or I could pass in the description or I could pass in title and description because it's a partial update. So it just doesn't have to have everything. If it was a put request, it would have to have everything. But a post, we can send in a partial update. And when it's correct, we'll get 200 response. So that challenge should be done. If I go back to my GUI and refresh, I will see that the post to do's ID 200 challenge has been completed. If you want to work through the challenges yourself, you can find all the information you need at eviltester.com slash API challenges. There's a bunch of videos, other solutions, how to get started, things like that. Or head off directly to the API Challenges application page at apichallenges.herokuapp.com. And we've got a whole series of solutions for the challenges. And I recommend that you try the challenge yourself first. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with any of the videos we're at least showing API challenges or APIs in general or testing in general. We have a lot of content here. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.